Hello Troopers and welcome back to General Kenobi's Bunker. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Eggman's Toy Show. This toy show happens uh, every few months here in San Antonio. I always like to go to it because I always end up finding good stuff. I really like this one in particular because we had a few different vendors actually which obviously take different stuff. So check it out. Let me know what you would have picked up. Uh, there was a ton of good stuff. And yeah, this is the last one for this year, which is surprising to me. But um, I think they did good. And uh, stay tuned at the end of the video to see my pickups. Let's roll it.
So we are back here in the bunker. Let me know what you thought about that hunt. We saw a lot of cool stuff. I mean, life-size tactical droid from Clone Wars. Come on, that thing was beautiful. This time around, we also saw a bunch of Star Wars ships, right? Um, more than I think we've ever seen at that show. And it was great, but man, I, I gotta get my spending under control this year. We've been doing a lot of conventions. So yeah, I, you know, I couldn't, I really wanted a few of them, but yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't go for them. But as you can see, this show tends to have something for everybody. There was some vintage stuff, you know, there were some old school like tin toys, which I always enjoyed uh, seeing. Uh, a lot of comic books also, which again, I don't collect comic books, but I really like the fact that they still show up uh, and people still buy them. I saw a couple of people actually buy uh, some of the graded stuff, you know, um, on a couple of the boots. So that's always awesome. We also had a lot of horror stuff. It is Halloween season, which makes sense. But we saw very, very cool um, Star Wars. Like I said, just not just the chips, but a ton of the figures as well. So let's see what I actually picked up. Okay, so for our first pickup, of course it had to be Star Wars. Picked up this guy, Anakin Skywalker in Clone Wars fashion. Now, keep in mind, this is from 2003 era, uh, basically when the animated show had not come out yet. This was just before the Tartakovsky um, cartoon came out. And I really like this line. I'm actually trying to complete it. I'm pretty close. There's a couple more figures that are not pictured here. But I really like this ones because they're more based on the comic books that were going on at the time. And I have this figure, but it's in a two pack. So I'll be honest with you, I can't remember if I have this specific individual version. But again, for five bucks, I wasn't gonna pass that up. So this was our first pickup of the show. Then we also picked up something that is not Star Wars. So I picked up this awesome thing right here. So this is an Earth Federation ship from Gundam. I think specifically it's from SD Gundam, which I was kind of not expecting. So I had never seen this before and uh, they had it for 10 bucks. You guys know that I love Gundam and more specifically, I do love ships just in general, you know, spaceships. And so when I saw this, I immediately liked it. It comes with a base, as you can see. Now the base does have spots for some of the minifigures. Um, afterwards, I looked up some of those minifigures to see if it was um, something that I could get to complete them. Um, I didn't like him that much, if I'm being completely honest with you. So I think it's going to stay like this. But uh, again, I always enjoy the ship designs, you know, or spaceships. And the cruisers, of course, are always very, very cool. So this one actually has a little bit of like a battle mode, I guess. You can prop this open like that. And there is a main cannon like hidden here up the front. So you can see that. So again, very cool. And for 10 bucks, I definitely could not pass it up, especially since I've not seen it before. Now, I wish I was a more patient man and I could actually build models of this thing, but I am definitely not. So whenever I see something like this, it's already built and I like it, obviously. And it's a great price, you know, 10 bucks. Again, no brainer. And that's actually it. That is it for the pickups for this hunt. Again, thank you so much for joining me for it. Please let me know down in the comments what would you have picked up. We definitely saw a ton of stuff. Um, again, vintage, modern, horror, Marvel, uh, Star Wars, you name it. This show has it all. So let me know what would you have taken home to your collection. Also, I would greatly appreciate it if you leave your like on this video. Subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so much if you already have. Please share the content with people you think would enjoy it. Again, I always enjoy this toy show. Uh, I'll keep going to it, you know, for hopefully years. Even though it's a recurring show, um, again, it happens every three or four months uh, here, you know, in town. I always try to go because I always end up finding just something a little bit different than last time. This was the last one for this year. So we'll see uh, come January, you know, maybe people didn't like their Christmas presents, so maybe they'll try to sell them off. So we'll see, we'll probably find some interesting stuff. Uh, again, that is going to do it here for the hunt. Thank you so much for joining me and may the force be with you.